Holy smokes, it ain't no jokes. Elon Musk just, you could call it a bombshell. This is just crazy. Something crazy just happened with Elon Musk. Uh, what does this teach us and how can we apply that to the crypto market? Some big massive behemoths are entering the crypto market. This could be huge. And we have big news that could affect what's going to be happening in the next few months. All I ask from you is that you give me a beautiful smile. Smishity smash that like button and let's get into it. So let's start out with the first big news of the day. Justin, Goldman Sachs, Citadel, Citigroup and UBS added as authorized participants for BlackRock Spot Bitcoin ETF. So we got massive banks, Goldman Sachs, Citadel, which is a, you can say they're a, market maker right they're not they're not a bank they're an investor some might say the devil right <laughs> citigroup which is also a bank and ubs which is also a bank are now joining blackrock right in bitcoin etfs right this is massive 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 for the crypto market uh, and the crypto market didn't react in in a crazy way right currently the price of bitcoin is at 67647 down minus 0.123% on the day. We are seeing, um, my kids are in the background making all kinds of uh, gestures. <laughs> uh, you want to you wanna come to the video? They, they want to come. My oldest, he wants to say hello. So he's going to say hello. Oh, there you go. <laughs> he says hello. Right. The, the other one doesn't want. It's okay. He broke his, his finger, so he says, ah, here he is. <laughs> he said hello. Okay, let's get back to that. <laughs> so um, the current situation is that the crypto market is not, you know, you couldn't say it's down significantly or up significantly. We're continuing with this kind of consolidation here. It's actually a very nice action to the, this news and the news that the U.S. economy added 303,000 jobs in March, above expectations of 212,000. The unemployment rate fell to 3.8%, below expectations of 3.9%. This means that the U.S. economy has added jobs for 39 consecutive months. How can the Fed cut interest rates right now? Um, and so we had a strong job report, rising CPI, PPI, and PC inflation. Interest rate cuts are becoming less and less likely in the second quarter of 2024. It's clear higher for longer is officially back. We saw last night when the, the one of the Fed, the Fed people, right, not the main one, not the chairman, said that he doesn't think there's going to be any rate cuts. We saw the stock market crash. We saw uh, not crash, but pull back significantly. Um, my dad told me today, he was like, I was looking at my phone and, you know, I went to relax for a few hours, watch some TV. For for us, it's uh, the, the stock market is from 4.30 p.m. to 11 uh, p.m. at night. He says, I went to relax, you know, 8 p.m. I went to relax in front of the TV. I come back, I look at, you know, my phone at the at 11 when I'm about to go to sleep and everything <laughs> I was like, what, what happened? Uh, and so um, we're currently seeing uh, that there's a, a jump from yesterday. It was 90% yesterday. Today, after the jobs report, we are seeing a 96.1% uh, uh, probability of the federal chairman keeping interest rate uh, percentages the way they are. Um, and so could this be bad for crypto, right? Could this be bad for Bitcoin, Shiba Inu, and the rest of the cryptocurrency market? Listen. Uh, of course, we would rather interest rates be going down, but we also don't want the United States of America to go bankrupt, right? <laughs> uh, that would be worse, right? Um, so I would rather them be more careful than more aggressive. They've made a lot of mistakes. This could be one of the worst feds in, in the history, right? Um, but it is what it is. And we have to deal with these kinds of ups and downs of the market, right? Sometimes you're going to be in a position, right? And maybe you decide that you're going to use, uh, I don't know, leverage, right? And you decide to use our partner Margex, right? And you go into that position, right? You're leveraged uh, and some, some news comes out, right? Something comes out, something happens, right? And you didn't plan for that. You know what happened today, right? At 11.05 a.m. Eastern time, Tesla stock, fell nearly 6% at 
after Reuters reported that the company canceled plans for a low-cost car. Then, so then we can see here that the stock crashed, right? It tanked, okay? So you might be in a position, right? And just taking Tesla here as a, as a, as a you know, uh, what's, what's the, what's it called? Uh, um, uh, I forgot the word. <laughs> I have it in my brain in Hebrew, right? As a, you know, as a, you could say as a story here that we're using um, to show what happened, right? But we, this can be implemented um, in, in in also in crypto, right? Um, so example, example was the word. <laughs> this is an example, right? So you can see here, let's say someone was leveraged on this position and then we got news. All the technical analysis and everything was telling you that this is supposed to go up, right? News comes out. You're like, oh my God, um, stop loss, whatever, you get liquidated. And then what happened? 30 minutes later at 11.35, Elon Musk posted that Reuters is lying again, right? There's been multiple times that Reuters has been lying uh, or they have misinformation and the market just, I think one of, they were the ones that were, um, that they reported on a few things that are also crypto related. Um, I think they remember there was a fake Bitcoin ETF approval, uh, not in January, it was a few months before and, and it's, it's, it popped up significantly and then fell back down. Uh, that was Reuters as well. Um, and so the stock collapsed and then popped up significantly. Uh, this is a 50 billion swing in market cap on the news that Elon Musk has confirmed to be false. Uh, being on X become an essential part of being an investor in today's market. Um, and, and the fact is that when you use leverage positions or just general positions, not even leverage positions, and news comes out, and in this you know thing, it was a mistake, right? We also experienced this with the Fed, uh, not the Fed, the SEC, if you remember, when the, the fake tweet from the SEC account came out and people got, uh, you know, uh, lost, stop loss, and people got liquidated uh, just because of fake news, right? So this is another reminder that the markets sometimes are volatile. Sometimes you, you everything looks good. All your technical analysis looks good. Uh, the indicators look good. You got a buy signal from the indicator and everything is, is, you know, working good. And then some news, fake news comes out and you get liquidated or your stop loss gets hit. Uh, or you freak out and you sell your position and then it comes straight back up because it comes out that it's fake news and you lose lose all those percentages, right? So it's very important to, to remember that that is a possibility that can happen anytime, right? And so the first time it happens, we might be, you know, surprised by it. We're like, oh, oh my God, right? But if it happens again and again and again and we're not ready for those kinds of scenarios, then... We all have only ourselves to blame, right? Some people like to use hard stop losses. Mm -hmm. I am not a big, um, for me personally, right? I do not like using those just because I am with my eyes almost always on the market, right? Uh, I'm a sicko, right? Because uh, it's basically my job to, to be knowing what's happening. Um, so if I need a stop loss, I can do it very fast, right? And I can, I can react to, to movements. Most people can. You have a job, you have a nine to five, and then stop hard stop loss is meaning you put it already in your your brokerage account or your your um, the exchange, right? Um, that most people need it like that because they can react, you know, straight away to small or big movements, right? Um, so that's very important to remember. Again, not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest. You have to figure out what is the best trading plan, investing plan for you specifically for you for your age, for your financial situation, for your country, right? And everybody is totally different. Some some people are apples, some people are oranges, and some people are watermelon. This is just how it is, right? And some people are bananas. <laughs> uh, everybody's different and everybody has different, you know, portfolio and a different way that they want to, you know, approach things, right? Uh, and so that's very important. You know, some people don't care about investing and don't care about money and they just want to live their life. And some people are super, you know, into it and super uh, stressed out about it. Every person is different. So it will be interesting to see how the crypto market uh, reacts from here and how we go forward from here uh, in the next few days. Bitcoin halving is coming and coming and coming. It's getting closer and closer and the blocks continue to be uh, mined and we're getting closer to when the halving is going to occur. Don't forget to smash the like button and check out the links in the description down below. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, 
Let's make a lot of money.